Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating and submitting a purchase order to a vendor, you will either receive the inventory parts that you ordered along with a bill for those parts, or you will receive the inventory ordered while the bill for the inventory arrives separately. In QuickBooks, you must receive the inventory ordered in order to sell the inventory. However, you must enter the bill when it is actually received for accounting purposes, especially if using accrual accounting methods. In the following lessons, we will examine how to enter inventory when it is received along with the bill, as well as how to receive inventory without a bill in order to match it up with a bill when the bill finally arrives. If you receive the inventory items along with the bill for the inventory items that you've ordered through your purchase order, you have to enter the items into inventory and also note the fact that you have received a bill for these items. You can receive items into your inventory along with the bill for the items by selecting Vendors from the menu bar and then choosing the Receive Items and Enter Bill command. In the Enter Bills window that appears, select the vendor from whom you are receiving the items from the Vendor dropdown. If the vendor you select is one with whom you have open purchase orders, an Open POs Exist message box will appear to inform you of that fact. To receive inventory and enter the bill, click the Yes button in the message box to open the Open Purchase Orders window. The open purchase orders that you have with the selected vendor will then appear within the window. Click to place a check mark into the leftmost column of the row that has the purchase order containing the inventory you want to receive, and then click the OK button to return to the Enter Bills window. The items from the purchase order will then appear on the Items tab at the bottom of the Enter Bills window. Check to ensure that the quantities that you ordered are correct. If they are not, then you can change the quantity shown if needed. Then be sure to enter the correct date that the bill was received into the date field within the Enter Bills window. You can also check the other bill information, such as the terms and the bill due date. You can then enter the number assigned to the bill into the reference number field. Now once you have finished entering the bill, click the Save and Close button to finish. Once you have entered the inventory items that arrived, QuickBooks will move the items into inventory and create a bill for you to pay. Make sure that you record the inventory when it arrives because QuickBooks must have the inventory on hand before you can enter a sale for the inventory parts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.